All right, we're still in section 3.1. Um, we have one more definition, and then we'll do an example with mean, median, and this new thing called mode. Um, mode is just the data value or values that occur the most often or the most frequently. So we can go back to that word frequency, right? The largest frequency, essentially. So we're going to need a calculator in this video. So if you don't have it out, pause the video and go get your calculator. Otherwise, we'll jump into example three. And so I'm going to help you find all this on the calculator just to save a little bit of time. So we have an intermediate algebra class. They had a chapter quiz online and we recorded the amount of time they each spent in a random sample of 18 on the assignment. So that would be my sample size. And we want to make estimates about the entire class. And we'll see a table of raw data. So this is only a sample because it says this is a random sample of 18. And so we're making the assumption that the class is probably bigger than that. So this is a sample because it's only part of the class. Which means we're going to use the symbol X bar rather than mu. All right, so if you have your calculator, go ahead and pull that out. Um, I have some visuals on the side as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead, um, we're going to put the data into the calculator so that um, the calculator can do the math for us. So you're going to first hit the button that says stat. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't let me highlight it, but if you go over, it's a second mode, DEL, and then right below there it says stat. So you're going to hit the stat button and it's going to bring you into this menu right here. So it looks a little funny on mine just because it's a digital version, version, but most of you will look like what I have displayed on the side. So the first option is edit. That's where we're going to go. This is going to be like our favorite menu of all time. We Stat edit will bring us into these lists and we're going to enter data all the time. So arrows and enter are how you maneuver. So hit arrows and enter, and then I'm gonna to go to edit. And then I've already entered the data just to save a little bit of time so you don't have to watch me enter it. But you're gonna just type the numbers that show up in the table. So you'll type 50, enter, 25, enter. Everything is enter, that's our way of maneuvering until you enter all of this data. So why don't you pause the video while you enter the data and then I will come back to you. Um, so here's your list. If you have numbers that are already there, you can just type over them. If you're missing L1 or L2, I do have some error um, videos in the resource module. So you can check those out if you're missing, if yours doesn't say L1. So then once we enter the data, we're gonna tell the calculator to calculate things for us. So that was entering the data. And so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the stat button again. And then we're going to go over to calculate. So hit the right arrow and you'll get to this new menu. And we're going to go to one var stat. Um, one var stat is one variable statistics. And then you'll hit second L1. Um, yours might not have parentheses, so if there's no parentheses, don't type them. They're all slightly different, but L1 is above the one. So to type L1, and I'll make a video just of the calculator so you can um, see all the steps a little better if you need it. So to type L1, you hit second one. Because if you look closely at one, L1 is hidden on the top. And then you hit enter and it gives you a ton of information. And if you hit the down arrow, you'll find more. So there's a lot of stuff we're not using yet, but X bar should look familiar. That'll be our mean. Um, the sum of the X's, right? That's the total, not that we're really using that, but it does tell us that. I see N would be the sample size. And then if you hit the down arrow, you'll also see median. So on mine, it's sideways, but median would be MED. So if you're struggling with the calculator, I will make a calculator specific video where you can actually see what buttons I'm pushing. 
All right, so let's find some information. So what's the mean? The mean is X bar, which was 35.1. Um, I need at least one decimal place because I need more than the table. So the table has zero, so I need one. 35.1 minutes. Median, so you have to scroll down a little, hit the down arrow and you'll see that the median is 36.5 and this is in minutes. The mean and the median have the same units. Cool. So let's answer some follow-up questions now that we have that information. So I'm gonna just... So I wanna know what percent of the class is below average. So below average means below 35.1 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna circle everyone who's below 35.1. So 13 is below 35.1. 36 is higher, 47 is higher. 35 is slightly lower than 35.1, right? This is what we're comparing to, because that would be below average. 25 is lower. Um, 29 is lower, um, for, those are above, 12 is higher, or lower, sorry, and then 22 and 35. So we're going below 35.1. So there were 18 total students, we could count or we could remember from the top, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are below average. So we're gonna divide. I got, I'm gonna do four decimal places, 0.3889. And then we move the decimal two to the right to get a percent. So that would be 38.89%. Cool. And then the next option on the calculator is optional. Um, the mode is the one that shows up the most. So you might be able to find it, um, but sometimes sorting the data makes it a little bit easier to see those repeats. So if you can find the mode from this table, go for it. Um, but if you wanna sort the data, sorting the data means putting it in order, it can make it a little bit easier to find the mode. So to sort the data, again, I'm gonna hit the stat button. This is gonna be like our favorite menu. And you're gonna go down to sort A for ascending. And then we have to tell it what to sort. So you're gonna hit second one for L1. So you're gonna tell it to sort L1. And then hit enter. And it feels like it did nothing, but then we'll go back and we'll go back to stat edit. So stat edit is like our favorite menu. Stat edit is where the data is. And you'll notice it's in order now. And then it's a little bit easier to see if that 41 shows up three times. So you could have found this without sorting, but if you like to sort, that might make it a little bit easier. So my mode is 41, because it shows up the most. So let's just compare the three measures of center. So the three measures of center are mean, median, and mode. And then we're just curious, which is the most appropriate to describe to someone how long they should expect to spend on the quiz. So you're a student in the class, right? There's three different numbers, right? How long is it gonna take you to do the quiz? Um, so 35.1, 36, or 41, right? So let's talk about them. So I would say the mode is pretty irrelevant, just a coincidence that three students were the same. I would argue it's not helpful. And then we have the mean and the median. So it turns out the median is better. Um, let me tell you why not the mean. So the problem with the mean is there could be a friend who was really, really fast, B 
because either they just really get it or maybe they just don't care so they just click through the quiz. Um, or there could be a really slow friend who's watching TV. So they're, av right, it's affecting the average. It's like that friend who brought $555 made the average go up to 69. So the mean is affected by really slow or really fast students. And so it can mislead you. So you're probably used to using the average most of the time, but it turns out the median is often a lot more common. And the reason people like median the best is it tells me half the students were faster, half the students were slower, and maybe you have a good idea if you're faster or slower than the class in general. So median is best. Half the students are faster, half are slower. Cool. All right, I'll see you in the next video.